I mean, how would you describe my piece in one word if you saw it and you had to, you know, use one word to describe it? What would it be? Living. Creator. I think I like that. It's alive, you know, movement. Vibrant. Unity. Wow. Magic. Love. Uh, love. <laughs> Robert Gray. Uh, the company that I work for are Rob the Art Museum and IRL Art underscore. Uh, Rob the Art Museum is a marketing collective and we focus on art. Our mission is to educate, engage, and inspire all communities using art. Um, I do park cleanup, so whenever I see any space, no matter if it's a gallery, a building, a parking lot, or a park, I look at it as a blank canvas for me. So when I walk inside the uh, Civic Center Park, uh, I saw this as an open space where I can curate something. Uh, we've initially called this project Protect the Park, and I want to bring it to the city attention that I had a way that we can reduce the vandalism that was on the monuments and the statues. So our idea was to create these border walls around the monuments and the statues, and then uh, that, was, that was their win. So they were able to save money by not having to clean these uh, monuments um, every week. The win for us was we were able to give uh, a palette, a canvas for these artists to express themselves during the biggest civil rights movement in our history. Um, and just coming down here just for maintenance every day, just like seeing it and seeing people take pictures or squatting down they out here on their bikes or showing their family, um, it was amazing. It was a dream come true. It made my heart warm. Um, I've never had an experience like this. Most of the time I do pop-ups and they're only like a day or two and they don't last that long. But to see different people of different like demographics, different ages, different races, all come for the love of art and to take pictures and to share it online. And black love is just not love within within black people and ourselves. It's also showed people in the outside community um, to how to love black people properly, how to love black art. Um, so that has been the biggest thing, just love. I've loved seeing everything that we've done. I've loved seeing people come out here. I've loved seeing the artists just having a form of self-expression. I love giving them a, a canvas and a platform bigger than what they previous had. I love that this has something that has been leading to other things. Like we did a virtual event after this. Um, the event got extended. Um, so I just love everything about it. And uh, the Black Love Mural Festival has been a legendary event. Uh, but love is the main word that has really brought everything together. So I'm Annie Filo. Um, my Instagram is AnnieFilo underscore. And I'm the founder of IRL Art, which is my other Instagram. I already had a lot of the mural walls and the plywood, everything we would need to build and the build team. And because so many people are out of work, we were just able to assemble people. All my best builders were available. And they also just wanted to support and, you know, kept showing up too to help with various things. And when I moved out here, needed to like build and nurture the community. And I feel like, you know, there's a certain magic with, um, big projects where there's a lot of artists and that's what I mainly like to do is these giant group shows whether it's at a music festival or a tech conference I get these various opportunities to do these large group shows like this is a good example and I feel like we've built a momentum that we know that this is now possible and you know what else is possible Sayla Rucker. My Instagram handle is Sayla, S E L A H dot B dot art. The inspiration behind my piece is every black and brown person I've seen in my life family member, person walking past me, my manager over here. Um, it's my mom, my dad, it's everybody. And like I said, I've been drawing since I can remember, and honestly, I've been drawing these faceless people. Since I can remember, it started off as um, me not being able to draw faces to my liking, and then it kind of elaborated into this thing where now somebody can walk up to my painting and be able to look at um, that thing and feel like, oh, I see a little bit of myself in it, or oh, it has no face, so you think of the first face, and usually people think of either a family member or even themselves. So, yeah, it's just a way to reach out to more people and it represents like all the stuff that we've we've witnessed and I don't know it's kind of a good way to decompress art for me is very therapeutic 
So it was very fun being out there for two days. My name is Isaiah Martinez. My Instagram handle is I-Z-A-E-X-B-I-N. Um, I've been doing art for my whole life. Since high school, I kind of got professional with it, and I use it as therapy. So it's like that's kind of how my message came together. Not only the audience, but also other artists kind of just giving me inspiration. It just gave me a different awareness, kind of like focusing up on not only what I was trying to present in my message, but how it would be received and the simplicity of it so that it can be kind of mysterious too. So it wasn't like politically or like kind of universal. so many talented artists just being around me like I had never painted anything that big before in my life and it was just like a super overwhelming experience but once I got here I just felt welcome and like I felt like I could just jump right into it and do what I needed to do. Um, I kind of just I didn't really know even like how big the things were actually going to be or like the proportions of it so I had like three or four different sketches laid out and I just kind of when I got here figured out the size and like what I could fit onto the actual panel and then sketched it out it took me like an hour and a half to make sure the proportions were right, were right because I never, like I had to take a step back and continue to take a step back because I've never painted anything that big before. You know? It was a good experience overall. Like I am so blessed. I could not thank Rob and Annie enough. Like, My name is Aaron Sutton. My Instagram handle is Visual Goodies. It's B-I-S-U-A-L-G-O-O-D-I-E-S. And I've been doing art all my life. Well. The inspiration is the situation. The piece is called Ancestral Assistance. So as you see, there's like this being that's coming down, you know, from the sky. And it's sort of like blowing down this energy, like wind of change or just some sort of like, you know, energetic assistance. So that's what the piece is about. You know, usually I'm doing murals around, you know, festivals, but you know, with all the stuff that's been happening, you know, it's a sort of different reason, you know, for people to be down here in observation and, you know, appreciation. So it was great. You can find me on Instagram at Curated by Charlie or the Museum for Black Girls. So this actual piece, um, I'm more of the visionary behind it. I actually had an artist that curated um, all the photos. I kind of told her what the vision was and she, cur she curated all the photos and put it together. Her name is Brie Marie. Um, and her just strategically placing the photos was her idea, but we definitely have the vision to make sure that the women that have been, have lost their lives to police brutality are seen. Um, and all the women that are missing are seeing. So that's definitely um, a way that we kind of put that piece together. We have to work twice as hard to get almost the same amount as everyone else. So I want people to see how valued we are. And I want other black women to see that how valued they are, which is our love letter for the museum because a lot of times we don't feel seen and we fall in the shadows. And I'm like, we're taking our power back, we're blossoming and we're blooming. And I want other women to feel that and to see that as well. So I'm like, everything I do is with love um, and just wanting other people to feel the love that I feel when I see them. Because we don't always get that. We don't always know that someone else cares about us. So um, I think that's that's what I would say for the piece too. My name is Holly Putman. Um, my Instagram handle is Foliarian. Uh, I've been doing art since I was, definitely some of my earliest memories of doing art, like packs of printer paper just all over the living room, just out. So definitely all my life. I drew on my brother for inspiration, you know, with like the big dreads and, um, you know, the handsome face, you know, like chocolate brown skin, you know, like those, those themes were like really important for my piece. I wanted the first thing for people to see was a beautiful, strong black man, and, you know, see the beauty in him. You know, in his heart, you see he's holding, um, or in his hands, you see he's holding his heart. You know, like, I'm made up of love. And in the other hand, in his face, is holding fire. He has that fire, you know, it's born from its internal magic, but, you know, he has to use it to protect himself. I want, when somebody takes away from my piece, I want somebody to be able to look at that black man that I, I painted and see him as a person that somebody loves. I want, and I want them to be able to carry that throughout the rest of their lives, everywhere they go, you know, like, every time you see a black person, just stop and realize that they are a person, you know, they need love, they need support, you know. So many times we just turn away, look away. 
we, we need to start providing support and love for each other everywhere we go. We're all people, we all need Um, so my name is Keisha Marie. Um, my Instagram is Keisha Marie Co. And I started painting um, three years ago. So I was most comfortable with like drawing lines and patterns and you know working with color. So um, with that piece, I was like, instead of doing the Afro and doing something more formal, I just wanted to stick with what I'm comfortable with and showcase that colorful richness that I feel like um, represents us as Black people. I just want them to feel a little bit of the joy, you know, or a lot of it. Be overwhelmed and immersed in the color and the richness and just see us. Um, I have like a couple of phrases, black art, black love, um, black AF, because um, <laughs> that's what we are, you know, it's, it's a very, I don't know, I'm grateful for this season, like it's unfortunate that people have lost their lives, um, you know, for us to have to get to this point but we will be doing ourselves a disservice to not be bold and big and loud with our blackness and with our experience right now. So I, I hope that people see that in my piece, even though it's not you know, a person or whatever, I hope they get that feeling you know, just from seeing it. Like we're drawing the line. I say I, I paint lines because I'm not that good with drawing them in real life. <laughs> I'm working on that. But I want them to see you can be firm, draw your lines, you know, create your patterns, create whatever your life is going to look like, and be joyful and be bright and bold when you do that. Living. Creator. I think I like that. It's alive, you know, movement. Vibrant. Unity. Wow. Magic. Love. Uh, love. <laughs>